Hey guys, I just wanted to do a um, quick review of a three-phase converter I bought a couple weeks back now from a company off eBay called WNY Converters and Supply. Um, if you're like me, you know, I've been going to machinery auctions and equipment buyouts and business buyouts trying to find, you know, good deals on this stuff. It's the only way you can afford it, really, you know, if you can't, you can't spend retail on this stuff. And, uh... You know, not long ago, I you know I wound up picking up this South Bend lathe. You know, and it's been kind of sitting dormant. Um, I actually still haven't had a chance to wire it up, but uh, you know, I think I spent eight hundred bucks for this. Found it on Craigslist. You know, it's a three phase machine. A lot of people are scared of three phase because they have no way to power it in their homes. Uh, you know, most homes only have single phase. I also wound up buying this nice big Powermatic drill press. Uh, wound up being I think 125 bucks, you know at an auction and um, you know, This is powered, but here's the converter I just wanted to show you guys kind of you know what it's all about and how I wired it up to work and uh, You know phase converter basically is, is pretty simple You know process all it is is uh, you know, a set of start relays and run relays to make a three-phase pony motor you know start and then the three-phase motor will run off to single phase and make the third leg which is sometimes called the ghost leg um, to power your three-phase machinery and all it really is here is you know you got a couple of start capacitors run capacitors contactor notice one has a nice on off switch and a little light to tell you when the, when the pony motor is running now my pony motor is way up in the rafters, just just to kind of keep it out of the way, keep it out of uh, keep the sound of it down a little bit, and um, and it's a seven and a half horsepower motor. You just want you want the your converter to be has to be more powerful than whatever the largest motor you want to run. Um, this is this machine's a two horsepower motor, and I think I believe that's three quarter horse motor. And I figure, you know, probably the biggest motor I'm going to ever want to run is maybe five horse. So I thought seven and a half horse would be a pretty safe um, bet. Plus, I got the seven and a half motor off the job. You know, we took it off of a uh, air conditioning unit that I was uh, decommissioning. And, uh, you know, it's pretty good. All you really need is, you know, a single 220 outlet, which I have one single 220 outlet in my garage. So what I did was... You know, I just wired a cord onto it so I could unplug it, you know, so I still have the 220, to, you know, for my welding machines or whatever else I might have that's single phase power. And then from the phase converter, it runs right over to a disconnect. You know, just a single 60 amp disconnect, or a 50 rather, I'm sorry, 50 amp disconnect, which is more than enough since most of these machines, I think this, I think, this pulls, I think, 15 amps, and that one pulls, I think, around 15 or 20 amps the same. Uh, Three-phase motors, you know, high, the higher the voltage, the lower the amperage is. So, where was it where backwards? Or that? Doesn't matter. But anyway, so here it is. Let me just do a little test run. You know, it's nice. It's a nice little setup. You know, everything's set up nice, you know. Everything's nice and new. The only thing I wish was... And the terminal blocks here were a little bit bigger. It was kind of a tight squeeze to get both of uh, both uh, the wires going over to the disconnect and the wires from the pony motor all kind of have to go on the same terminals there. But here I'll do a startup of it, and you can hear the pony motor start up. And you know, it starts and uh, gets up to speed very quickly. There it is. Now you can hear the pony motor running. Little red lights blink blowing. That's how you know it's going. And, um, and let's just, uh, I'll show you here, disconnect, and there you go, three-phase power. It's not too shabby. Shut the pony motor off. And that's all it is. Now you can run three-phase machinery, you know, in your home shop, you know. And I only have a one-car garage here, loaded with crap, you know. And now I can run all my machines. 
the ohm, yeah, you know, I think this phase converter, if I remember correctly, I think it was like 160 bucks, you know, which isn't terrible, you know, I'm sure you could build it a lot cheaper, and, you know, there's, I don't know if you're like me, you probably already looked into it, there's 100 different wiring diagrams and setups, you know, that you can download for free off the internet, and then it's just a matter of finding all these electrical components, and, um, you know, that's half the battle, and then it, you have to try to figure out how to wire it all. This unit's pretty nice, you know, he uh, he puts in, you know, a couple extra features that are nice, like, yeah, I'm trying to, oops, sorry, I'm trying to show in here, you know, you get, there's a little resistor in there, so it um, de-energizes the capacitors, you know, after the unit's off, so you don't have to worry about any stored energy in there, you know, and it's, it's, it's in a nice, tidy package. I'd, I'd recommend this company to you know, anyone out there looking, you know, to put a three-phase setup in their house. Get the cover back on. You know, it's a nice clean supply, clean setup there. You know, a nice way to run, uh, to run your three-phase equipment in, in your homes in a home setting, you know, or or a rural setting where three-phase might not be available.